When then connections. Do you know that dogs are constantly making connections? For example, they connect events with what happens next, like their leash being picked up. They notice because it's an important event. Experience has taught them that when their leash is picked up, then they are taken for a walk. Dogs also make connections between their behaviour and what happens next. For example, they'll make a connection between sitting and then being praised or receiving a food reward. Your dog is constantly looking for connections between events and what happens next and between their behaviour and what happens next. Ed and Huxley are going to show us some more examples of how dogs make connections. Nothing much is happening and Huxley is napping. However, when Ed opens a particular cupboard and takes out his food, Huxley notices. He notices because he's made the connection between this event and what happens next. Experience has taught him that when his bag of food comes out of the cupboard, it's dinner time. However, when Ed is working on his laptop, Huxley has learnt that nothing interesting is going to happen for a while. It's a good time for a snooze. Huxley has also made connections with travelling in the car. Whenever he travelled in the car, he then got to go for a lovely long walk. He made the connection that the car was a good thing because it reliably predicted something that he liked. But then Huxley got sick and was frequently taken to his veterinarian. Huxley is scared of the veterinarian and he connected travelling in the car with going there. Uh-oh, Huxley has changed his mind about travelling in the car. Here's another unintended connection that can be made. Ed and Huxley enjoy their walks together. Ed calls Huxley at the end of their walk. And Huxley comes back enthusiastically. Ed clips him on the leash and takes him home. Ed and Huxley are enjoying another walk. Huxley, Huxley, come here. Huxley, come here now. Oh no! Huxley has made the connection that coming when called means the end of his walk. This isn't a favourable outcome for Huxley and now he doesn't want to return to Ed because of what it predicts. Ed could easily prevent Huxley making this unwanted connection by calling Huxley at various times during the walk, giving him praise. Good boy. You are such a clever boy. A tasty food reward and then letting him go back to play. Go play. When it's time to go home, Ed can help Huxley to make a favourable connection by calling him back, clipping him on the leash and then lavishing him with praise and a delicious food reward. It's important to be aware of your dog's when-then connections to ensure that they work in your favour. One of your guardian superpowers is that you can influence these connections either by the arrangement of events and what happens next, or by how you respond to your dog's behaviour.